he's asked that you do not see or touch the dress today until and not see until tomorrow. Oh mm. my god. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think that's fair. Because what if I absolutely hate it tomorrow? I'm pretty sure she'll go along with it. I'm not gonna get married if I don't see the dress today. Hello? Quick problem. Uh, how definite are you you don't want Emily to see the dress until tomorrow? I know I've picked her a really nice dress, right? But if she's got any little concerns, I don't want her worrying tonight. I want her to have a nice sleep. So that's why I'm getting her blindfolded. And then it's going to be a nice little extra surprise in the morning. And she's waiting three weeks. She can wait another day. You think she'll have a good night's sleep without seeing it? She will not sleep tonight if she hasn't seen it. But I want... With 24 hours to go, Paul's mission is almost complete. Emily is about to come face to face with the wedding dress that he chose for her. Or is she? I'm about to uh, ring the bridal shop now, because uh, Emily's about going for the dress fitting. So I want her to be blindfolded, don't want her to know what it feels like. Uh, just so, if she doesn't like it, just so she's not worrying overnight about it. Interesting logic, Paul. Good morning, Cheshire Bridal Wear. Hiya, Julie, it's Paul. Oh, hello, how are you? Good, good. Obviously, I don't want her to, to see the dress. So if you can just blindfold her for me and make sure that she doesn't know anything about the dress, that would be great. Right, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure about this. Thank you, bye-bye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it's a little bit scary because we've never had this before so we don't know how a bride's going to react because obviously a big part of the day is seeing the, the wedding dress and being part of it and feeling it so we don't know, we'll just have to see how she reacts when she gets here. What are you going to do if you don't like it? I don't know, cry and shout. He's asked that you do not see or touch the dress today. Until and not see it until tomorrow. Oh my god. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think that's fair. Because what if I absolutely hate it tomorrow? I'm pretty sure she'll go along with it. I'm not going to get married if I don't see the dress today. Hello? Quick problem. Uh, how definite are you you don't want Emily to see the dress until tomorrow? I know I've picked her a really nice dress. Right, but if she's got any little concerns, I don't want to worry tonight, I want her to have a nice sleep. So that's why I'm getting her blindfolded. And then it's going to be a nice little extra surprise in the morning. And she's waiting three weeks, she can wait another day. You think she'll have a good night's sleep without seeing it? She will not sleep tonight if she hasn't seen it. But I'm honestly, I'm advising you for your own safety, let her try it on and see it, because she's not impressed, to be honest. She'll like it, right? And that's it. That's end of. Just spoke to Paul. He thinks you'll have a better night's sleep if you don't see the dress. <laughs> <laughs> this is ruining my day. It's really ruining it. I was looking forward to this so much. It's just ruining it. Don't do this to me. No, it's stupid. I feel so self-conscious about my body as it is, that for me to wear a dress and walk down the aisle is going to be hard enough, yet to not know the dress is just going to make me feel so awful about myself. She's gone three weeks and she's let me organise everything. Um, and she wouldn't do that unless she had confidence in me. So I'm pretty sure she'll, she'll go one more day. It is another part of me staying in control for that little bit longer. It will ruin everybody's day if I don't feel good. There are certain things that you can cope with. If the flowers are wrong, the flowers are wrong. It's not the end of the world. If the dress is wrong, it's the end of the world. So as I'm concerned. Can two bridesmaids change Paul's mind? Hello? Hi, Paul, it's Jill. It's Jill and Hannah here. Right, we really need you to change your decision on um, seeing the dress. Um, she's really, really upset. Um, uh, has she had it on yet? Uh, no, she's not had it on. She's not willing to try it on. She's crying. Is there any possibility that you can change your mind on this? Right, all right then. Right, right, she'll have to see it then. All right then, thanks Bye. then. Good luck. Bye. Yeah, apparently, um, She's really upset. She's, uh, she's been crying her eyes out. She's not even tried it on yet, so... Obviously, I've got to let her see it, really. <laughs> oh, oh, I think she probably will cry. She doesn't like it. And she'll scream as if we try and play. It's, it's nice.
Oh, I think he's done really well. <laughs> I think he shows them better than I show them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really like it. Beautiful. Oh, thank God I saw oh, it though. <laughs> Good job the dress was good actually. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise he'd have been in so much f now. I just like all of it. Yeah. Mm. I could just relax now. And then prepare myself for the shock of tomorrow.